My name is uh, James Barrington, uh, or Pringle is my, my nickname. And I'm an ex-world champion at freestyle kayaking. Uh, it's a bit of a cross between sort of surfing and skateboarding, but in a kayak. So we're out here in Bhutan and our goal is to run the, the Chamkachu River which as far as I'm aware is the last first descent in the Himalayas. So my, my role in this trip has been mainly as sort of kayak cameraman so getting to all the places that you can't get to with the main cameras there's all kinds of rocks in the middle of the river and cliffs and bits of in the middle of a gorge where we just can't get the main camera down to and then the other aspect which has been the most tricky and also where my background's come most into play has been actually filming with a little small waterproof handy cam from the kayak which has involved sort of backwards paddling down sort of grade four rapids, one-handed, uh, which means I'm not one, I'm not looking where I'm going. So I'm basically looking at where Steve's looking to choose where I'm gonna sort of roughly guide the boat, which I'd say 30% of the time works out in a really nice shot, and the other 70% of the time ends up in us getting absolute hammering. Kayaking backwards down a, a completely unrun river is something that I never thought I would do. Wow, you're about to get hit again! This is the first first descent that I've ever done, I think. And doing it backwards, I did not expect to be the way that I do it. Definitely before I came on this trip, I didn't envisage that the river would be quite as swollen as it was. I don't think any of us quite grasped the scale that it would be. Like, this river has pushed us all. That's awful, awful. Because I've ended up going down the first lot of the rapids and blind, so I haven't had a chance to look. So I'm kind of taking a bit of a gamble to try and get there ahead and sort of pull out halfway down to get a shot. There's been a few near misses for me, and there's definitely with the group every day we've had a few very close calls. So the river's really pushed us to our limits in, in all ways, like for all of us. We've got to say this, we'd have been all been, all been done for, really. Definitely a mistake really, there's just no way we can run this. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to port portage this or get out. Probably the scariest moment of this trip was when we saw Steve drop over the horizon when I was filming. <laughs> and from where I was, you couldn't see if he was alright or not for a good few minutes. trying to decide, do I keep filming? Do I paddle down to try and help? And obviously I'm here as a cameraman, primarily, but I am here as safety too, so if stuff really does go wrong, filming comes, come, always comes second. Try and get it, try and get it! Okay, I've got you. Thank you. Oh, this is... I guess one of the things that happens when you tackle a first descent such as this, you just don't quite know what's around the corner and sometimes issues like this are a little unavoidable. At least Steve's safe, we're all safe, and um, that's all that matters. For me, this, this trip's been pretty life-changing, like having to overcome all these challenges that I hadn't even foreseen really and having to come up with it like on the spot. I mean, what better training can you have? We've only been here three weeks, but coming out of this like you've known each other the whole life, it's been uh, very special. Let's get a, a big old hugging. Well I'm really proud of you. Coming from my background, which is largely individual competition, you don't often get that kind of connection. And from this, it's like uh, really opened my eyes to the, to the world of expedition and adventure. And, it's not just what you come through, it's the people you do it with and the connections you make through it that make it so special. Mm -hmm.